Okay. Hello, everyone. It is good to uh. see you all here. Uh, I just got over the flu. And when I say just got over, I don't even think it, it is over yet. Um, I'm having a problem, like, clearing my chest. Other than that, it's good. Um, somebody asked... Uh, why the first followed again? Uh, I I wrote it. I do I, I do them all. Uh, and since I hadn't streamed in a while, this just seemed like a nice uh, a nice one to come back to because I just uh, um, got over the flu. I don't want to do a whole lot of like thinking when it comes to this run, so I am just. Uh, Loading up the sniper build again. The next time we play through this, I'm going to do an unarmed or melee run. But that is not today. Ha! Ah, you're here. Good. We've got a problem. A big one. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Sneed, uh, streaming tactics one. would be a really uh, fun thing to do. I've done it a couple of times. System. I haven't done it... Simply put... In we're at least a year, for water. sure. Uh, so yeah, that should water, that should hit the no list. Vault. I've done uh, Brotherhood of Steel more than I've done Tactics. To our survival, and frankly, I, so Tactics should I probably be the fucking next. We have. You need to go find us another controller chip. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out of water. We need that chip. We marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place. I didn't to see start, what I the think. name was, Nukemit. What is the name? It's a Max Chad today. I ain't fucking with these rats, dude. I ain't fucking doing it. Yo, nah, thank you for the gifted five memberships here. Adding five vault dwellers to the fucking fray from Noth uh, 2077. Thank you so much. So welcome at Man Twig, <laughs> Simon the Androgynous uh, Furry, Dark Magician, Cole Sloth, and Trio G. Thank you so much for the gift of uh, of memberships there. So we just skipped through all those rats. I didn't want to fuck with that. Uh, let's get the quick saves out of the way here. Mr. Red with a fat two dollars. Sorry for spooking you with the Pikmin. No, I was just playing. Uh, I, th I just thought it was funny. It's because I, the reason the reason I was like, "Are you gonna kill me?" It was because uh, Pikmin's a serial killer. The follow tactics power armor. Yeah, man. I've always uh, I've never really had a problem with it. I, I thought I always I always thought it looked like a cat. Like I call I, when I was a kid, I always called it the cat power armor. The one that's on the cover, at least, of tactics. Oh, we're already getting a random encounter. Oh shit, don't kill me. So we're going to Shady Sands. Get shit going here. Falan. Falan? Falan? Either way, I see you around a lot. Thank you for becoming a member, I believe, again. I don't believe this is your first time being a member. But thank you guys so much. You guys are amazing. Yeah, we got attacked by those R-O-U-S's. That is, uh, what happened, Mr. Red. Looks like Batman. I could see that, too. Uh, Mulgener. Uh, how do you say that? Jolner? Is the M silent? I know it's from Halo. So, forgive my... Oh, yeah, it's Patty's birthday, by the way. Uh, so happy birthday there, Patty. It's, uh, Patty's the one that drew all the awesome emojis we have for the members here. Um... Okay, so we got our information from Seth. We'll actually get our information from Katrina here. Get our XP. The last time we played this, uh, I was able to loot um, Laszlo's tent without them. And, like, they didn't even say anything. I didn't sneak, I didn't steal, I didn't do anything. I just walked in there and looted the fucking bookshelf and they had nothing to say about it. So let's see if that, uh... 
Let's see if that still works. Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright, load. Talk to Tony Shalom here. Um, Eridesh. Monk. Hey, they're making a... My wife told me, I haven't really uh, looked into it, but apparently they're making a Monk movie that takes place during the pandemic. If anybody knows who Monk is, uh, the OCD private eye, private detective, who used to be on the police force and couldn't be anywhere or whatever. Uh, Tony Shalom plays him. Fucking terrific show. I've always really enjoyed it. Um, we'll try to get Ian. That's a companion, and we did. Yeah, Tony Shalhoub. He's in here. He did a great job voicing Eridish back in 1996, 97, whenever he recorded these lines. Greetings. Your business in Shady Sands might be... Wanderer, I shall believe you, for now. You may enter Shady Sands, but be warned, your every move will be watched. Certainly, what do you wish to know? Junktown lies south of here, though there is little in the way of visitation. From stories, I'm certain there are cities south of that. Yeah, he plays there. Actually, now that I've said it, uh, I bet you can hear it in his voice now that you know that it's him. Certainly. What do you wish to know? Keep in mind, this is 30 years ago, so you gotta take about 30 years off of his, the voice that you know of his now, you know? Dude, I fucking love Monk. My wife didn't like it when we first got together, and then I, I finally convinced her to, like, actually sit down and watch it, and then uh, she kind of she kind of came around on it. I, I don't think it's, like, her favorite show or anything, but she doesn't hate it anymore, which is nice. Uh, I've always... Dude, I fucking love Monk. In fact, I should rewatch it in honor of fucking it being so good. <laughs> oh my yes, great packs of rad scorpions are killing our herds. We don't know you where they're You want me to read the dialogue I'm going to use? I can do that. We kill, if that's uh, something more. the chat would like me to do. Uh, forgive me, I'm not used to doing stuff like that because uh, I play through these games so often and see so many of the same names in the chat that I uh, incorrectly sometimes assume that most people just know the lines that I'm saying and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, we can do that. Or we can at least paraphrase or, you know, talk about what I'm saying to these people. Right now, go on. And now the monsters are attacking my people. Roslo is trying to find a cure for their poison, but I'm not sure how it goes. Uh, uh, Psych is good, too. Yeah, I like uh, Psych. They're uh, contraband. I didn't like it as much as I liked Monk, but uh, they were on the, around the same time, if I remember correctly. Well, I'll help you get rid of these things. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Please talk to Roslo. He possesses far more information on these creatures. Hey, pure than chaos. I. It's good to be live again. And uh, Simon, I'm doing good. Like I said, I just got over the flu. Um. Other than that, living the dream. Mister Red with the fat five dollar super chat. Always wondered why the barrel of plasma. Of a plasma caster can't be ripped off and used as a melee weapon. Yeah, that's a good point. Thank you for the super chat. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, you say that the Fallout Deads didn't didn't even try. Oh my god, I wouldn't go that far. But uh, I understand where you're coming from. I just don't think maybe people didn't think of uh, the weapon that way. And then uh, here comes big Kim Jong-un with a fat $5 super chat saying, Monk is a ripoff of Columbo. Can't change my mind. I've, only, I've never watched Columbo. So I, I can't speak on that, but... Okay, so this right here, the reason I'm not, like, reading through it is, uh, we're getting to the point where we can tell, uh, this farmer about crop rotation. You know, like, yeah, you plant some of your fields sometimes, you know, and then, you know, rotate through them. You won't, uh, lose all of your fucking crops every year. And he's like, oh, shit, I went to that. It's a great idea. Uh, 
It looks like, Kim, you have some people that are saying Kalimbo is good in the chat. I've heard of Kalimbo, I've never watched it. So. Let's read this. Okay, so what we're gonna go do now is take care of the fucking rad scorpions. Only dialogue for talking. Oh, okay, yeah, I could do that. I can do that for you, Lucifer. Anytime we have a talking head, I will for sure interact with them back and forth, read what I'm writing to them. Uh, when we're just dealing with stuff like this, I'll just let you know what the fuck is going on. So we're going to the Rad Scorpion Cave. Seth takes us there. Uh, we're on our way. What do we name our vault dweller? Uh, it's just Max Chad this time. We need to make sure Ian's still, uh, closer to us because, uh, it is nice to have him... I really should be aiming my shots, too, with the build that I am using. Shit. We're gonna take at least two tails from here because Razlo can, uh, make antidote based on, uh, the tails. I mean, the reason you'll see me aim, but still aim for, like, the body is because you can still get a crit that way. Um, but if I don't aim, I'm kind of, like, wasting my turn because, uh, unless I'm doing, like, two shots a turn, uh, I'm gonna want to aim to cause maximum amounts of damage. I'm using a sniper build, so that certainly will help. Uh, let's get small guns... You know, get to at least 100. Fuck. Okay, so we're just gonna dump that into that. Next will be speech. Unlike Fallout 2, you can't just highlight everything on the on the map. In Fallout, uh, in the original Fallout, if we had been using the, which I should have, we, we should do a couple of runs with the patches. Um, Fallout fixed. And uh, with Fallout 2, we can get the Restoration patch, which makes the game a bit harder, honestly. Because they take out some of the cheese. Like, I can't cheese and go get the APA uh, with the Restoration patch in Fallout 2. Hey, that's a good point, Contraband. We should really be uh, boosting our emotional damage on these Red Scorpions. That's a good point. That'd teach him the brain. You always play with the restoration patch. It's not a bad call. Not a bad call. Um, my only argument to it uh, for like people who are just starting, I always tell them, you know, play them without them first. That way you get the feel of the game and you can appreciate uh, what's being added into the games with the restoration patch as opposed to not even knowing, you know, what's what's there and what, you know, is a part of the patch. Ooh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Um, eyes. Missed? Shit. No, he was killed. It's just, uh, he's kind of glitched out. Alright, that's fine. Um, eyes. Ooh! He shouldn't have been, he shouldn't have been, uh, on his attack turn yet. Typically, I'd be able to walk away before he attacked me. That was interesting. And this one's dead, don't believe it. And the reason I'm getting out of the way is because Ian's been known to uh, do a number or two. Um, what do we got? 
the brain. The Tim Kane expansion. What are you referring to there, Patty? Just uh, the restoration patches? It'd be uh, dope if he uh, if he made some like uh, you know the big patch that uh, added things that he might have wanted to add uh, back in the day, but. I think the game is just charming and beautiful the way it is. Yeah, Ian will shoot the shit out of you. And I always run the real Gambit and uh, give him an SMG, like... No, no fear, no balls. Fucking, here you go, Ian, 10mm SMG. Ooh! I was gonna say, that's gonna poison me. Brain. Boom. Okay, so that's uh, the rad scorpions dealt with. G G. Yeah, I always give me in the SMG. Just stay the fuck out of his way. You know, that's uh, pretty much rule number one, is stay the fuck out of Ian's way. Okay, now we'll go... Oh, yeah, we didn't even talk to Tandy. Cree Summer. Hi. I heard there was a traveler in town, but I was kind of skeptical until I saw you. My name's Tandy, what's yours? My name is Max Chad. Well, how do you like our little town? Bored yet? Uh, this leads to one of my favorite lines. Finally, someone else who sees. Hell yes, there's nothing to do here but watch the Brahma mate. Finally, someone else who sees. Of course, you've probably been everywhere, so this this must be hell for you. Well, I'm sure you're exaggerating. You live here all your life and see how you like it. Anything else you want to know? Uh, yeah, about anyway. Well, see ya. Yeah, Cree Summer playing Tandy. Good ah, shit. things are much more settled now. Roslo has been working on a cure for the rad scorpion poison, and with that, I uh, know I'm not going straight to Mariposa after this. Uh, we're just going to play through. Uh, can you? I think Fallout Four might be the only one that doesn't have Brahmin tipping in it. Am I wrong, Mister Red? Um, because I know Three in New Vegas has it. But I think four doesn't, or like very select Brahmin do. Yeah, dude, Kree Summer would go on to fucking star in multiple Nickelodeon shows, other video games. Like she had, she has a fucking tremendous career. And then I destroyed the nest. You are truly a hero. Know that the people of Shady Sands are most grateful. Goodbye. Uh, all right. So if we take the samples, I don't even think he fucking told us in that um if we take the samples to uh laszlo here raslo raslo um i've been poisoned and he tells you to fuck off but if you have a sample of the red scorpion poison he'll make an antidote from it we have two of them one for us and one for jarvis is that uh, jarvis here or is that vault city for jarvis who is this So we use one of the antidote on him. Yeah, it's Jarvis. So we cure Jarvis. You can talk to him a little bit. Really, uh, nothing real going on. But we gain, uh, you know, karma and XP for doing so. Uh, the Max Chad name is a joke from, that's like kind of borrowed from the Simpsons there, uh, Simon. So, uh, in the Simpsons, Homer changes his name, Homer changes his name to, um, Max Power, because he reads it off of the side of a fucking, uh, hairdryer, and thinks it's the coolest name he's ever seen in his life. So he changes his name to Max Power, uh, each letter more important than the last. But, uh, he, uh, the reason I chose Max Chad is just because I, I thought that was funny. 
and uh, it, it's more it's kind of a play on that uh, on that joke from The Simpsons. And then the other name that we use uh, typically for uh, characters during Fallout runs is uh, Dick Lord. And I'm not gonna fuck with these rats either, so. We'll have to play f a plenty of rats when we get downstairs. So what I'm doing right here, by the way, anybody who may be wondering how I'm like getting through all the rats, uh, if you, oh, now we'll be in a fight, but uh, if you mash the A button, you can uh, skip through uh, all the combat triggers as you walk through enemies, so that's what I was doing there, may have to fight some of these, nope. Take awareness. Get a speech up above a hundred here. And one hundred is not like the top for the skills in the classic Fallout games. A lot of people who haven't played these kind of get confused, or rightfully confused about that. Um, one hundred is like when you actually start being decent at the skill. Uh, Three hundred. Uh, or 200 to 300 is usually the max. The groin. And then we're gonna get our hunting rifle, which is down here. Yeah, 300 percent's the max. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so yeah, there's a fucking hunting rifle down here that's hidden. In the corner here. And it's good shit. get our first set of uh, leather armor here too or leather jacket rather hey Jake Martin welcome to the fucking tribe called Mantis as a vault dweller here I appreciate you big time thank you Jake, thank you, man. I appreciate you big time. And I'm glad that you're here. Right now we're just uh, power running through fucking Vault 15. done more damage. Yes, and 150% uh, is so high that you can do all the things related to that. So, yeah, pretty much, yeah. You're just fine-tuning after that, in my opinion. But I'm no, like, I'm not like a build expert, let's put it that way. I remember when I first uh, played the F Online mods, like uh, F Online Reloaded and 2238 and stuff like that. Uh, 
I found out real quick how many people, like, really studied the way, like, builds worked within the game's mechanics and just how fucking ridiculously out of touch I was with what made a build viable and what made one not. Mr. Red with another fat $5 super chat. Best Protectron in the Fallout series goes to Button Gwinnett. Yeah, I like Button too. Uh, and uh, second goes to Fisto. Oh, well, I don't know. I might put Fisto above them. But Nira from a nuclear. Well, hey, that's a pretty good list. I'm going to have to slide Fisto to the top of it for my own personal uh, list. But uh, I appreciate you big time, Mr. Red. Thank you. Let's walk out like that. Ian can waste his ammo on the small red. Okay. Here's his SMG right there. Um. I'll take that to barter with, I guess. Uh, let's... Okay. Then we get 500 XP for seeing that this is destroyed. There's also a crowbar on the ground here. Was there poker games with Caps at New Vegas Day? Um, I think so. A lot of people, I remember during the first one, people didn't play cards as much during the second one. Uh, the second time, this last one that we were there, there was uh, like a game or two, but it wasn't nearly uh, the same population doing it as the first time. Because the first time there was like three tables set up and two of them were playing Caravan and there was just caps all over the fucking table. Like people, there was caps everywhere. Um, I believe that people were playing other games and poker would make sense. So uh, I never, I, I didn't get the time to sit down and play any of the games with anybody. So I don't know uh, for sure. Uh, I don't remember if, exactly if they were playing poker, but I do remember them playing a ton of games at Caravan. I can't believe he burst for that. Come on, Ian. Hey, HPZ, good to see you. Damn, I'm missing every shot. Okay. So, whoops. I guess we can grab a couple more XP here. But I'm not going to waste my time on those smaller rats, really. Okay, so we'll go back and rescue Tandy now. Because the cons will have kidnapped her by now. Ian will run out of ammo quick. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck? And since we uh, ran through all these rats before, they'll all be here now, but I'll let Ian take care of most of them. Come on, Ian. What the hell? Oh, he's gonna go fight some other rats. There might be stim packs actually up there. I forget. 
Typically, I'm more thorough, too, where I try to kill every enemy on the map. Nice one, Ian. Is there stim packs in here? I know that there's flares in here. We could use those for bartering as well. Uh, so we have eight of them, but there might be stim packs up in this thing here. Are oh, you sharing animal pictures in the Discord? Well, there you go, everybody. Uh, make sure to join the Discord link in the description because we're sharing animal pictures in there. I should put some pictures of my dogs in there after the stream. Oh, now we're stuck here forever. Fuck. Oh, shit. Because you can't fucking... Oh, no. Let's see if we can... Uh... Fuck. Oh, shit. You can't push them back. In this, god damn it! Hey, HPZ with a fat ten dollar super chat, which is making this reload a little bit better. Um, thank you, HPZ. Uh, so who won the lottery? Uh, yes, old Oliver Swanick. No, but I appreciate you big time. Oh, that pisses me off. It's not that big of a deal, but it's still annoying. means we need to make sure that we save all the time for incidents like that and what had happened there was Ian had us blocked in 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 fall in the first fallout here uh, without the fixed mod you cannot push them back like you can in fallout 2 in fallout 2 we could have told them like hey back the fuck up There was four stim, uh, little stimmies in there, though, and I will be uh, coming after him. All right, Ian. You gotta go back to work, Austin. We'll have a good last couple hours of work, and thank you for stopping by the stream. Eduardo, coming in hot with a fat $5 super chat. Good to see you streaming again. Remember the Alamo? Yeah, I will. So this must be, uh, I remember. Uh, was it ever explained how Vault 15 was cleared out for Fallout 2? Um, oh, like up there where, no, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm sure, uh, cause they have all those people that are, glorified slaves for the most part uh, the squatters under the thumb of Darien and the cons in the second one they probably just made you know the cons probably made people do it uh, with force could be wrong because I actually don't know off the top of my head but I would assume because people wanted to like you know carve out a life there so either the NCR went through there and bombed through it and cleared it out that way or the cons made people do it I also forgot these uh, flares that will that I want to grab, so we have more barter stuff. 
But uh, thank you, Eduardo. And you remember the Alamo as well, damn it. Knight Spearhead has been a member for over a year, 14 months. Damn, son. Lurks at work. Hey, well, I appreciate you. And I hope you're doing well, man. Okay. Let's save. Okay. Yeah, Nuke Man, I love it when the chat's going off. So that's the reason I come out here. It's to chat with everybody. Hey, well, Blue Donkey, you came to the right place, and it's good to see you. Okay. This is real easy. Just talk to Garl and be like, hey, knock it off. And then he's like, oh, fuck, I guess you're right. Oh, that's fair. I was going to rest until morning, but they don't want me to. So this is the cons. Here we are. Garl, the leader of the cons. Right here. And yeah, you pretty much tell him, I represent a threat you don't, uh, and this could be because my speech is good, but I represent a threat you don't even understand. And then he's like, ah, fuck. And then we leave. The Jobber Faction. Come on now, come on. How dare you. I was afraid that you were gone and I wasn't going to get a chance to thank you for rescuing me. Aw, oh, that was great! Action! Adventure! Anyway, if there's anything that I can do for you, you just ask. Um, waiting for the release of Funline 2's been out forever. Are they doing a new one? Like a new server for it? Uh, what... <laughs> what... To I can't say your name. I'm going to call you Woj. Woj Toskin. <laughs> Saying that terribly wrong is some, I'm guessing, Polish thing. Especially if you're talking about the F online servers, you're either Polish or Russian, and that looks Polish to me. Yes, but a new engine. God, that's gonna be fucking dope, isn't it? No, I didn't even know they were doing that. Man, I've been wanting to go back to them and, uh, like, kind of, like, make a documentary on how they're going now. Because I used to play the shit out of them. That's where my TKS uh, clan tag comes from. Are those old F online servers for the cons. <laughs> and then if you suggest getting together with Tandy, uh, she tells you to go fuck up Brahmin. not that kind of girl, mister. She's go also like 15 in this, so that's uh, the correct response that she gives you. Um, we'll go talk to Eridish and get our reward. And then I'm going to grab another soda here. IRL, not in-game. A lot of changes. Well, damn, man. I, uh, I hope it comes soon. I will be forever in your debt for your courage and bravery, Wanderer. Here is your reward. I don't know quite Until we what meet again, my he gives us, actually. Oh, I haven't even given... Uh, oh, maybe it's those 500 caps. I haven't even given Ian his uh, shit. There you go, bud. Okay. I'm gonna grab a soda real quick and I will return. The 
before we really get out there. I'll save. And we'll go to Junktown. One of my favorite towns in all of Fallout. The best small gun in the game? Dude, uh, the sniper rifle counts as a small gun. Uh, and that's the one I go for in this run. To me, you can't beat that, but uh, aside from that, yeah, I'd say the 223 because I'd use the 223 if I was too close to use the sniper. Um, uh, there might be better ones than those two, but I those are the two I use. No, you're not stupid. Uh, just the big guns in the classic follow. They're like uh, the mini guns and, and you know that kind of stuff. Ro rocket launchers plant count as explosives. Let me see. They should also tell you on the gun. No, maybe that's just the newer ones that do that. Um. Anyway. How does the sniper rifle count as a small gun? There should be a medium subclass. Yeah, see, now you're understanding on how that stuff uh, happens that way. Yeah, Sandals is saying rocket launcher is big gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I say, you sick little scab, I'm going to cut you up and sell you for me um, to kick off the, the fight here. And then I just take out uh, this guy, um, Doc Morbid, and Cougar and Flash, the guards. And also, get the fuck out of Ian's way. And we also didn't tell him to take out his best weapon in battle. So we should. First, we want to check for traps around this area. Okay, we disarmed the trap. I was going to say, we might not be able to get the slock open yet. But everything's kind of on like a percentage chance in the older Fallout game, so even if you have really low skills there's still a chance okay that can happen too so we'll wait until our lockpick's a little higher because there's a good amount of caps in there so the next time I level up I'll be putting it in lockpick and we'll just head back down here and And uh, take care of it. Right now, uh, Doc Morbid is hostile, but he's also fleeing from us, is what's going on there. So now his guards, Cougar and Flash, will come over. Which is, the, in my opinion, best way to get leather armor right at the beginning here. Got him in the dick. 
There you go, Ian. Shit. One hexed him. Oh, he's trying to get away. Oh, Ian, no. Now with this uh, dump into lockpick, I feel like we'll probably be able to get that open down there. Uh, the town will not be hostile based on what we did. These are bad karma characters that nobody gives a shit about. We're not gonna put on the armor just yet though because we can get dog meat by having the leather jacket equipped. Him, right? Yes, okay. So, we should be able to get this open now. When I have over 100% in lock picking, you really gonna do this to me? Hey! So we'll give that to Ian. The ammo, that is. Make sure everything's emptied here. We'll go grab dog meat now. Fallout music is on point. Always Pat Stone. Always. Mark Morgan is one of the best composers, in my opinion. is one, one of my favorite video game composers of all time. And uh, he did Fallout and Fallout 2, but he also does the Wasteland uh, soundtrack. So if you play Wasteland 2 or 3, you're also hearing Mark Morgan. Uh, ter terrific soundtracks. We should really do a Wasteland 3 stream, actually. Which I know I have before, but it's well overdue. Alright, dog meat's right here. Now he is a part of our party. The reason that works is because uh, this is based off Mad Max, this uh, leather jacket, and so when the dog sees us, he thinks that we're his old owner, Max. Okay. We'll talk to Killian down here and uh, get that whole side quest going. How am I calling out Fallout dubs? What do you, I know the Fallout dubs. I'm like friends with Tim Kane, the guy who made the, this fucking game. What are you talking about, Samurai? <laughs> Can I, I can call you? anybody out? This is my like one of my favorite games of all time. I've only praised it since I started playing it. But I uh, go off. The name's Killian, Killian Darkwater. I'm the mayor of this fine town. And who might you be? Well, Junk Town's not much, but it's home. Mostly we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. From outside, we've had the occasional to-do with the cons, but they've been pretty quiet lately. Inside, trouble's been from the skulls, and I hear some strange things happening down by the hub, but they haven't affected us yet. Knock on my mother-in-law's head. Well, junk town's not much, but it's home. Mostly, we trade with people or let them forget their troubles for a bit. Of course, we have our share of problems. Hey, Keith, it's good to see you, man. Thanks for uh, stopping by the stream. 
and uh it's it's not uh musical knowledge i think is a big stretch i just know that mark morgan uh uh composed these because uh i use the classic fallout music in pretty much every fallout video that i make i i always use it because uh it doesn't get copyright tagged uh it's not under that umbrella so you're allowed to use them in in, in videos and so uh, I actually I reached out to Mark Morgan. We we used to follow each other on Twitter, but he left Twitter uh, a while back. Um, and I, I had had a chance, a couple of opportunities to talk to Mark Morgan. I was going to make a video about his music uh, and interview him. It just never came to fruition. And then uh, what did you say, Sandals? Ask him what's there to do around here. I wonder if he mentions dark mor dark morbid still. Oh, we got tons to do. The scum yep, pits right on the east side by the entrance. Great drinking place. Gizmos is near there. And if you're hurting, Doc Morbid's your man. You bet. May not be as big as some in the hub, but people usually find what they're looking for. Take a look around. Okay. And then uh, we're going to get... Gizmo senses regards. Hey, I'm blind. Yeah, I shut his eyes up. Oh, fucking Ian burst right through dog meat. Listen, thanks for saving my life. It's a mighty brave love this thing to hey, do. Hey, Jucked Out Guard. Hey, there he is. Uh, looks like we've got I love this town too, situation though. Here. I know Gizmo's behind this, but I need proof. You interested in helping? You're always scared to use the Fallout 1 soundtrack in your videos. No, Pure Chaos, uh, it's free real estate, man. Uh, Fallout 1, 2, if, if you have the special editions from uh, GOG, it comes with the soundtracks, uh, MP3 files. Fucking, yeah, man, you're totally free to use them. Uh, they, they are not copyright tagged under anything on purpose, because old video game uh, soundtracks used to do that on purpose. You have to wear a recorder and tape Gizmo confessing. Or plant this wiretap in his office. Either way. And we got him. All right. I owe you. Here okay, so... Oh, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's loot homeboy here because he has the ammo that I crave. Oh, rather maximum. Well, capacity howdy. Here. What can I do? Well, that. Let's, uh. Get rid of some of the shit I'm not gonna use here. I'll get rid of the heavier things first. Like the. Uh... I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure he has like 2k on him. So give me your money. Might be all right. I think I'll do that. That's fine. Um, I'm just seeing what we're at here. Yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. So we'll go rent one of those rooms from the Crash Hotel here, the Crash House, so we can get this side quest done. MacGyver. That's right contraband uh what's his fucking actual name i always forget his real name end up calling him macgyver he's one of those three names like jan michael vincent what the fuck ah oh, fuck i forget richard dean anderson thank you contraband yes fuck 
There he is. <laughs> Michael J. Fox, the up here chaos. Okay. I need a fucking Richard Dean Anderson in Squadron 1. Two Richard Dean Andersons in fucking... <laughs> okay, uh, so we'll rest here until the morning, and then, uh... This guy's now taking Cynthia hostage. We tell him to fucking not do that. Just gotta talk him down. Um, I think third time's the charm. No money, but you can fuck off. And he's like, okay, that's a good deal. Let me talk to her. You're welcome. Who's your boss? She's like, Gizmo. What else does he do? Gives you a little info on that. She'll offer us another a night's sleep in the room. I don't typically take it. Um, that's what I want to do. You change formation staples. Okay. Oh, if you kill him, she gets pissed. I don't know if I've ever killed him, actually. That's uh, funny. Well, pure chaos. Yeah, I don't know if I knew that. Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah, there's another one. Um, and we can get Tycho. I don't know if he's there yet. No, let's... Uh... Tycho's the shit. Okay, so after that, we tell him Killian's asked us to clean this shithole up, and he's like, oh, nice, me too. Okay, so now we have Tycho. Gizmo's one of my favorite characters in all of Fallout. His, his like, model's so unique here when you first run into him. You're like, what the fuck? Like, his talking head, his uh, actual model here, his uh, Vats model when you, what do you want? aim at I'm him. I'm a busy man. Fucking, mm. I'm here to talk about the attempt on Killian's life. No, I'm here to tell you you're assassin field. I don't know what you're talking about. Hypothetical. Such as? Let's say you did try to fuck him. And let me guess. <laughs> I'll fuck him. That someone. Well, how can I trust you? Because I've done it before. <laughs> All right. We can do this. But you work for me. You better know that nobody ever double-crosses Gizmo and lives to talk about it. You got me? And then um, we can ask him what he wants him dead for. That's easy. I want we're we're recording that. We're wearing a bug right my now. My business. So, what are you doing for me? Good. Return with the dog tags he wears around his neck as proof. And we never had this conversation. You don't mention this to anyone. No one double crosses me. No one. Okay, so, because I'm just showing people who may not be in the know, this little device here, we could have planted this on him, but this, I believe, uh, I think this is the one that, one of these is how we got, uh, or it could be both, how we got the confession just now. We were using it to record what he was saying, let me bring it back to Killian. It is Pete from Goof Troop. Uh, Winnie the Pooh. As well. Uh, what's his fucking name? See, you, you you guys have been... Yeah, Tigger as well. Uh, you guys have been really good about the actual names. I forget. Isn't it Robert something? Oh, that doesn't sound right. But yeah, the Jim Cummings. Thank you. Yeah, Contraband is uh, on top of it. Um, 
fantastic voice actor. So, did you get the evidence? Which? Bug or tape? Let's hear it. That's the first time I've been happy to hear his voice. Thanks, friend. Now, time for you and me to take care of the other business. Well, thanks again. Well, listen, I'm going to take the guards and run Gizmo and his cronies out of town. I could use another gun. You up for it? Go to Lars at the guard station. He'll fill you in. Now, listen, this town owes you. Yeah, you got it, Killian. No, no, uh, no problemo there. <laughs> we don't do that in America. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, uh... So, we come down here to Lars, handsome Lars and his fabulous jars, and uh, we uh, tell him that we're ready to fucking go against Gizmo here. Fucking Ian's probably gonna burst through everybody and get everybody aggroed on us. Knowing his stupid ass. So I'm gonna try to kill Gizmo before that's the case. And here's that Vats I was referring to, where you can like see... It's, it's just a cool little... Detail. Ooh! one shot at him! Get fucked! 68 hit points. The loss of an eye is too much for him, and he falls to the ground. Gizmo is killed. And the death animations in Fallout 1 uh, and 2. Magnifico. Magnifico. Oh, dude, that was painless. Look at that. Over. And we got 500 caps. We'll go back. Uh, the only Mouser 9mm in the game uh, is in Gizmo's possession. It's not necessary. Like, I mean, like, taking it isn't necessary. It's not worth a whole lot, and it's certainly not better than the gun that we currently have. But it's interesting, so I want to go back up here and... There's a, there's a few rare items, actually, at Gizmos. There's the box of noodles, and I think the TV dinner? And we don't question the shooting somebody in the face, losing... They lost an eye, but a giant hole appears in their chest. We, this is, uh... 1998 rules. Now, what's cool about uh, Gizmos' character model here, though... If we were to return back uh, periodically, but, you know, not too late, just keep coming back to him. I'm looking at this uh, motorcycle, too. The wall is so fucking cool. Uh, he decays over time with little bugs flying above him, and, like, his skeleton ends up showing up. It's it's uh, really it's a really nice little detail. Oops. Take, uh, take all that money. What are you doing? Here's the mouser that uh, Gizmo has. But again, it's not super worth taking. Here's the box of noodles, which is rare. I believe that's the only place it shows up in the game. We found a gun magazine, which is nice. Got a little uh, gun action going on here. And uh, we can leave. I don't really care about the rest of the missions. Looks like the sign quit spinning because Gizmo's dead. Which I didn't know that that happened. Is that just bugged out or? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, it should still be. It's, it's one of the coolest parts of the the set is the spinning gizmo sign. It's so fucking cool. Ah, I love the way these games look. Netches knows their shit about uh, guns, so that's cool to uh, have somebody in the chat that's giving us a little history rundown on those. We're heading to the hub, though we could... No, we'll do the hub first. Because I want to get the radiation meds from Jane's area.
which means we're gonna have to do Decker's quests. We could try to do the caravan. With the, the, the death claw. Let me get that gun. The two two three pistol. Okay, and we just leveled up by extorting Bob. Um, let's get outdoorsman up to at least fifty, please. the farm quest that gets us the 223 pistol. Okay. This can be a little wild. We might lose companions here. This can get kind of fucked. Right in the eyes. Yeah, get in there and burst him, Ian. What are you doing? Ooh. Got him. Dog me get in there doing some work. Hey, it's nostalgia. Good to see you. Nice. Oh, we're smashing it, man. Drawing them out to me. Nice. God damn it. just got wrecked. Rip Ian. That's in the chat. I am not reloading just for you. I always feel like if you just re reload every single time, you know, like a companion does or something like that too, what's the risk of having the companions, so. We're gonna, if we actually make it through this battle, that's the end of Ian, this run. Which is, you know, not a, not a super long time that he had with us. He usually ends up dying, I mean like, canonically he dies at Mariposa, but usually in my runs he dies at Mariposa as well, same with Dogmeat, so. But uh, Tycho usually is the first to die because he tries to close the distance so much. That's it. And we can't even find his corpse? Is that it right there? Oh, wait. It's 
probably. There we go. Ian, Ian, Ian. I can't just leave this ammo laying around. Caps. Oh, he had a 14 millimeter. I get some cash for that. Don't care about the Desert Eagle. She has a combat knife. All right, our reward for this, though, is, um, the fucking, two, two, three pistol. So when we do have the Sniper rifle. This will come in handy when shit is too close to us. So. Gonna attempt Decker's missions here. So, you're looking for a job. How fortunate. I have one that needs doing. Ah, but where are my manners? What's your name? Well, the pleasantries are now concluded. Do you wish to hear about the job? Background. There's a certain merchant who's, how to phrase this, not cooperating fully with the underground. Quite simple. Hunt down the merchant and his wife, and exterminate them. It's standard pay. 500 caps to start. I believe New Vegas Another mixed. 2500 when Somebody the job is asked, done. Uh, Massage Dog Will you asked, do it? this track doesn't really appear in other Fallout games. Uh, a lot of these tracks appear in New Vegas, kind of remixed into the background music, which I thought was a really cool uh, homage to the classic Fallout games. Within New Vegas, excuse me. And, um... I'm pretty sure a lot of Fallout 1's soundtracks, for lack of a better term, Fallout 1. My dog's out there barking his head off. Um, I feel like a lot of those songs do show up in uh, Fallout 2 as well. So, What if Mantis sounded like Decker? Let me hear one second. Very nice. Very nice. The merchant lives in the heights on Buck. <laughs> I could probably... Very nice. The merchant lives in the hats. Uh, I'm Decker. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna... Let's see here. Healed. Um, we need to wait until the sun's up. Oh, Arthur Morgan now? Come on, Dutch. Dutch! Alright, so, uh... These guys are tough, but... We're gonna fucking see what happens. I should've maybe done... Shit. I got an idea. I got an idea, boys. Oh, no, wait, that was the whole fucking point. Okay, one second. We'll just, we'll attempt it. I feel like I'm gonna get wrecked. Oh, you were playing Red Dead 1? Nice, that's a fucking terrific, terrific choice you've made. I've, I've been 100%ing Red Dead 2 on another stream.
My name, Death. In the dick. Dead. Get him, Tycho. We'll have to get him a fucking uh, combat shotty, at the very least. I could have got my sniper rifle before we did all this, actually. Okay, we're doing alright though. We're doing alright. Nice, okay, perfect. Now there's more outside, but uh... We're fucking sitting pretty. Tons of stems. Where's Hightower at? And then we have that uh, necklace quest item in this room over here. If we do the Thieves Circle, Thieves Guild quest. We'll be able to, uh, whoops. We'll be able to uh, give them this necklace. Oh, we're at our maximum capacity here. I'm going to actually dump some shit off. Like that stuff. At this point, I don't super need all this stuff. And if I do need to barter with it, I can come back and do so. I'm going to leave a couple of things. You know, just in case, but uh, I'm going to free stuff up. Sublime Mime with a fat... $5 super chat. I own Fallout 1 and 2, but I'm finding them really difficult to play. You make it look easy. The only reason I make it look easy is because I have been playing this, uh, been playing these, I am 36 years old. I have been playing these games since I was 11 years old. So for over 20 years, I have played through these games and played through these games and sat around with my friends and talked about these games and fucking obsessed over them and yada 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 and I'm f nowhere you know like I'm not some kind of fucking pro uh gamer when it comes to them either but uh I just know them because of that I grew up on them and uh that makes it a little easier to get into my my suggestion sublime mime is there's a thing called uh Falachi. and what that is is it will uh it's a character editor a save game editor and what you can do is you can make a character save your game Go into that character editor and max everything out. You can make yourself the fucking top level, like uh, all the skills maxed, all the perks that you could ever want you can add to your character. And then just kind of walk around the game and, and, and like experience it and learn how to play it that way. Because that's what I did when I was a kid. And then um, once I got used to the mechanics and the way the game actually played and the way everything worked, then I played it without having my character edited and you know with like actual challenge to the game and had a really good time so that's my suggestion to anybody who's trying to get into them but kind of having that brick wall of like gameplay you know um i understand that the the ui is archaic at this point like beyond archaic it's ancient ancient ui that like probably is very off-putting that the trimetric can be off-putting to some people you know the the fucking uh the viewpoint of of, of, of uh, these these classic Fallout games, but um, I assure you, it's so worth actually taking the time to learn how to play them because they're, they're such a rich experience. They're, they're so like they're so fantastic. But I understand like why people get uh, put off by them. Ooh, pick up your gun, Tycho Jesus. Damn, the people out here are actually giving us problems.
There you go. Get it, Tycho. Shit. Yes. There we go. There's one more left, too, so we gotta still be kind of careful. Is there a brothel in Starfield? I don't think so, Scott. It's a good question. I don't think so. Because even on Neon, or in Neon the City, I guess Neon's not the planet, it's the city. It's on, like, Fox Bob or whatever. I don't fucking know. But, uh, even there, there's not really that kind of vibe. Which is, like, their take on, like, a hedonistic spot. So... Ooh, shit. Aw, oh, man. Oh, he's running. So, we did the job for Decker there. That'll be worth a good grip of caps. And, uh... Good day again, my friend. Excellent. Now, he tasks As you with may know, killing Jane at the children... The children of... A small matter. Kill right the there. high priestess Jane. The I believe... The children of the cathedral here. And, uh, this is what we were waiting for. Um... To before we did the Brotherhood quest, because we can get uh, radiation meds from the children of the cathedral here in a little room that they have off to the side. Man, it, it would be. Um, I love I love pretty much most games uh, that Obsidian make a, a Damski, so I'm gonna have to agree with you on that as well. It'd be, it'd be nice. Okay, so save here. So after we do this Decker quest, we're gonna hit the. Why um, do you disturb an elder of the cathedral? Then why are you here? What would bring you oh, another, to the children of the cathedral? I'm pretty sure that's a uh, Trust McNeil, isn't it? Now I'm curious on if that's Tress McNeil. Jane, Fallout 1. Yes, Tress McNeil. Top tier, she plays Mom in Future Roman. She plays fucking everything. Such a good voice cast. This happens if you tab out of OG Fallout. <laughs> you get uh, this kind of stuff. It goes away once you get out of the screen. You are in the right place for spiritual fulfillment. The children of the cathedral seek a peaceful resolution of our world's problems and could use your help. With perseverance. Okay, um... She actually sucks, by the way. She She's kind of a dick, so... It doesn't, uh... doesn't bug me to take her out. Uh, yeah, Keith David, yes. It's a very good cast for the first Fallout 2. Fallout 2 has some Michael Dorn as Frank Horrigan, and uh, I believe, doesn't Dorn play the lieutenant as well? No, that can't be right. I think he plays Marcus, though. Ah, no. 
Hey, Adam. Good to see ya. Take him out. Nice. here has all kinds of goodies in it. Stuff that we're gonna need. First off, ammo for the guns we're using. Stems. Radiation medication. Purple robe, which will come in handy. More ammo that we're gonna be using. Radex, we're gonna need that. Super stem. Alright. Don't really need any of this stuff. The buff out, the psycho. But, uh, we have all this good shit here. This is, uh, will help us get through many places <laughs> uh, in game. And then, uh, we also now have stuff that will allow us to go because I'm, I'm not going to do the whole glow one of these runs i should do all of the glow to kind of show off like the little you know doom easter egg that it is but uh we're just going to go down and grab the brotherhood hollow tape okay There's other things to do in this town as well. I just don't do them very often. Yeah, the Justin Wing video about the Super Horneo Brothers or whatever the fuck it was called. Uh, he posted the full, both of both of those uh, Super Horneo Bros movies on Twitter uncensored, like in their full quality. When uh, like right when Elon Musk took over, I remember when he did it because I'd never actually I had never actually seen them before, and then um, he he put them on Twitter, and I was like, oh shit! Like I I'd always knew they were they existed. I'd seen videos about them, but I'd never like had seen them because Nintendo pretty much scrubbed them, you know. But uh, he has copies of them. Yeah, Justin Wing is dope. What a fucking fantastic creator he is. I like wavy, uh, wavy web surf as well, and Munahar. All those guys are fucking top tier. Munahar has been around for fucking ever too. I remember when he used to donate games to uh, fucking classic game room. I remember the fuck they were called. Steven Larson. Was it Steven Larson that did that show? I might be thinking. I might be getting two different people confused. I do remember Steven Larson though. They just might not be involved in the fucking thing. It might have been them. Hello, and welcome to the Brotherhood of Steel. May I ask your business here? That's great! Uh, wait, wait here a second, and let me see what you need to do. Uh, well, I, I talked to the High Elder, and he said that not just anyone can join. He, uh, said you have to complete a quest first. You have to go to the ruins of the Ancient Order that's south of here. Uh, you've got to go inside and bring back something that proves that you were there. You'll do it? You will? Great! Just bring it back here. <laughs> Good luck. And then this guy gives this exposition here, where he's like, "What the fuck? I can't believe they're sitting him down there." I'm like, "Uh, 
I'm going to the Ancient Order, not the Glow. He says, so you took the famous Glow quest. This is because uh, the Brotherhood was so xenophobic to anybody who wasn't them uh, in the first Fallout. They would literally rather send you to die in a suicide quest than to fucking, like, actually have you come in and join their ranks. So he tells us what the Glow is. It's uh, an advanced weapons facility known as uh, West Tech. It was directly hit with a nuclear bomb during the Great War. And he explains that others have gone down, uh, gone down there, and uh, none have come back. Okay, so we are heading to the glow. What do we got here? A fucking rad scorpion. Ooh, you bastard. Okay, off to the glow. Ian, that's right, Mark Morgan music, yes. Metal Monks, Metallic Monks is one of my favorite, favorite tracks. Uh, I really enjoy, and it might be what plays the cathedral. I always forget the actual names of that. What did we just encounter? A fucking Deathclaw? That's interesting. It just says the Deathclaw. What a weird encounter to get. Because we haven't even really heard about the Deathclaw yet, either. Fuck. That's insane. The Deathclaw. I don't know, even know if I've ever gotten this encounter. We can probably take it. Let's see how much damage we do. 80 is pretty goddamn good, actually. He looks goofy. Dude, I love the... They, I forget what... They took the design from, like, a old Dungeons & Dragons fucking... Um, character sheet of, like, you know, uh, things you could encounter in this uh, campaign for this Dungeons & Dragons game. Forget what it was, though. It was in a book. And they're like, oh, fuck. This thing. Look at this. And they made a couple of changes to it, and that was it. Oh, that's when we only hit it for 10. Need to make sure we uh, do better damage. Tim Kane explains it on his channel. Yeah, yeah we talked about it too in uh, the video that I did with him. Which I'm hoping to do a part two here soon uh, with like a Zoom call with him. It'd be really nice to catch back up. And uh... There's a classic Fallout um, iceberg that I'd love to pick his brain about. Yeah, Jackson's Chameleons, yes. FEV infused Jackson's Chameleons that uh, were bred for war during the Great, uh, you know, before the Great War. Obviously, everything's before the Great War in that aspect of things. But um, now they're now they roam the wasteland. <laughs> yeah, Tim Kane is great, man. Uh, one of my favorite people of all time. Damn, how many more HPs do you got here? One HP, Jesus Christ. Missed. Got him. BRD, every time. Oops. Let's... Dump it under here. Yeah, we'll be real good with that sniper rifle when we get it. Okay. Yeah, it's wild that we encountered the Deathclaw like that. Kind of takes the steam out of uh, when we're going to encounter it here during that caravan quest. Rip Karma Chameleon, yep. 
RIP, F's in the chat. Getting a lot of encounters. Oh, this is Pat, uh, the wandering salt here. We can sing with him. And he can give us directions to Necropolis, which is nice. Great encounter. Another encounter. Scorps. I stopped just right outside to take our meds. Okay, now we're very radiation resistant. Oh shit. I didn't bring a rope. That's on me, boys. Good thing we saved, like, right here before we used the meds and shit, so. That's fine. It's just a small little trip back up to the hub. Yeah, uh, slightly a maniac. There's, uh, there's a vendor in the hub that has fucking a few ropes. It's no big deal. Just having to backtrack, see how the cutscene started to play? Having to backtrack kind of sucks, but... Cave. Oh, it's giving us the option to do this already. That is so weird. Fuck it. We haven't even taken this quest yet. Because this is the Deathclaw uh, area where we find out what happened to the fucking caravans. I'll just shoot for the eyes. You know. Oh, did I hit him too? Ooh, fuck yeah. Hey, Mr. Red, fat $2 super chat. Sad there is no Fallout 4 mod that adds dwarven armor. There isn't? That's strange that there isn't. Usually people are all... Ooh, ooh. People are, all, are usually on top of that kind of thing. Oh. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Red. Hey, yeah, the the misfire dropping the gun. I love that kind of shit in the in the classic Fallout games. Like critically miss and lose the rest of your ammo. That's a doozy. Oh, I accidentally hit Dogmeat. How legendary of me. Oh, and so did Tycho. Dogmeat's gonna fucking die. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Jesus Christ. There you go, Taika. We knocked Taika to the ground. Ooh, blew him in half. Get fucked, idiot. Okay, so that mutant pretty much admits to uh, taking the caravans. Like, uh, that the mutants have been raiding those caravans and dipping the fucking caravaneers to make new mutants. Hey, Magic Wizard, I'm happy to have you. Hey, Thomas, well, I hope you have a good rest of your day, man. That's uh, quite the adventure you're on there. Okay, so we're really here to uh, get a rope. But, um, we're going to be able to turn in that quest now, too. Oh, without even talking to Harold or... Dude, that's so weird that it took us to... The cave. That has to be a bug or something. Because usually you gotta talk to Harold and then his fucking friend outside. Strange. Strange. wonder how much... Yes, how many caps you got? Bring them in here. Oh, that's a doozy. Let's see. Perhaps. Hey! Good shit. So now we have a rope. And when you read, for people who don't know, when you uh, read a hollow tape like I just did, you go to status. This is the hollow tape that we picked up. You're able to look at them in your pit boy here. This is your pit boy. We have 100 days left to get the water chip, which we'll uh, we'll have very shortly. We'll have the water chip found. Now I'm fucking curious on how turning in this quest is gonna work. Like, am I able to, am I just gonna, like, tell Butch, oh, by the way, here's what's been going on with your fucking caravans? What do you want? Time is money, chit-chat is not money. You hear about the job or what? Hot damn, someone with guts. Done and done. Go talk with my second, Rutger, and get the details. What do you want? Time is money, chit chat is not money, oh you hot. God. Uh. Shit. I wonder if I broke this then. By doing that. Um. Talk. Fuck. Uh, talk to Beth real quick. Okay, so now she's told us that Harold knows about it. I'm just curious on if I broke this quest or not by going to that cave and... Uh, yeah, Kane Wilson, I've played the F Online servers uh, quite a bit. That's how that's where I started my YouTube channel, even though uh, none of those videos are really up anymore on this channel. That's like where my channel started. I've been planning on going back and like... 
uh, making Spare a video essay. change, old friend, old pal. Can you help a poor mute? Oh, kind of your friend. Very good. Okay, well, I can't look. Good luck. I'm skipping through this just to make sure that, uh... Okay, and then we... Okay, we've already done that. Now let's try turning in the quest. Yeah, Ash and I agree. Harold is fucking top tier. I skipped through his stuff because I'm trying to figure out if this is good to go or not. What do you want? Time is money. Chit chat is not I, money. You it, hear about well, some cap simp well there. You uh, listen, you. I make it quick. Sounds like we might have broken. <laughs> What do you want? All right. Yeah, it looks like we might have broke this quest. That's weird that it let me go there like that. That's fine. That's not the end of the fucking world. Is Harold a tree in Fallout 3? Yes, that is the same. Harold. Okay. So now we have our fucking rope. So we'll be alright when we get down there. He thought Baba the Day. Mestaphysiles, or however the fuck you say his name. Uh, the Silent Chief is uh, correct. Herbert. <laughs> yeah, Ashton. Yeah, I agree that first death clause laughing its way to the fucking bank. Making us all bugged out. Well, it, you know what? It, mix, it mixes things up. It made this playthrough a little bit more unique for uh, stuff like that to have happened. So That's all good. This whole place is a Doom reference. You find uh, color-coded key cards that correspond to uh, the color of the elevators. some traps up here, but I always get fucked by them. I never... Exactly, I was gonna say, I tried to... This guy, you see he has one of the card uh, keys too. But... Make sure that we... Get that. Alright, good to go. And that's all I'm doing in the Globus room, really. But there is all kinds of cool shit down there. I believe Zax is down there, you can play uh, chess with him. If you play it too long, you can end up just melting yourself. Because uh, you spend too long just surrounded by radiation. Okay, back to the Brotherhood. I have played a little bit of Atom RPG. It's uh, another game that I'd really like to stream again. Uh, it's it. I remember having a ton of fun with it. 
But it's another one of those games where I've only played a few hours of them and then they go back on my backlog shelf, never to be played again. And not because they're bad or anything, I just... I'm always doing something else video game wise. Uh, the shift does not work in uh, vanilla Fallout uh, the first, where you can highlight all of the items on the ground, Ivan, I believe is what you're referring to. Uh, no, uh, that's just Fallout 2. Though you can get Fallout fixed, which will uh, do something like that for you. Ooh. No, I didn't get crippled, he just knocked me down. The High Elder said you have to give it to me before I can let you in. Sorry. This is great! Hang on while I open the door. Well, hello. Goodbye. And um, we are officially in the Brotherhood now. We can learn some shit by watching this uh, training session. All right. One second here. You can give me more of that. Fuck yeah. Okay. Um, now we have Brotherhood armor. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Looking fucking good. We can learn a thing or two from watching this. So we'll let this play out a little bit here. Have I tried out the Highwayman mod for new Vegas? I, I remember uh, back when um, the Frontier came out that uh, they had that car mod that was in... I have not played Fear and Hunger, no, Kane. Um... I remember the, the car mod that came with the Frontier and how well that worked. Zalantra, right? Made that? Uh, did a fantastic job. As, as much as like uh, the the differences I had between me and the, the developers of the Frontier and specifically Zalantra, I didn't get along with. Uh, they did a fantastic job on that, uh, um, on that car mod. But that's the only time I've really messed with any vehicle mods on uh, New Vegas. I haven't played uh, any other mods uh, for cars when it comes to that. I'm pretty sure... I don't know if we get XP or if we learn just like unarmed in our skill, but I know something happens. And I believe the log will tell us when it does. Yeah, the Frontier is a mod for New Vegas. And I believe they've been working on it the whole time, and it's a much more different mod now. I 
Melee and unarmed skill up. Uh, yeah, sandal side, it's something like that. But I don't care too much about, uh, this might be it right here, where we get it. Yep, one skill point, <laughs> one skill point each. Okay, who really cares? Okay, so now we'll take our Brotherhood armor here. And we'll just buy a sniper rifle. Fuck, I forget. It doesn't matter. We'll just go buy a sniper rifle. We're not going to use our caps on anything else, so... We'll finally get our sniper at the hub from Jacob in uh, Old Town. And, uh... We'll rescue that uh, Brotherhood member from the actually surprisingly tough raiders that are <laughs> in Old Town there. that much ammo or if I can even hold that much ammo so it'd probably be in my best interest to put like I'm okay with getting some Much better in uh, the second fallout as well because you have one more number slot that you're able to fine-tune how many caps you're putting out there so let's uh, I, mean, I don't care too much but let's put 400 of those back oh fuck um, okay that should be good. So now we have our sniper rifle. Fucking unstoppable, by the way. And we have the 223 pistol in case we're too close to somebody and need to use it. Um, save. Fifty-seven points. Get fucked. Get blind. These guys are tough, too, so we might lose a companion. We need to get Tycho a better gun. Yeah, Foxy, I'm trying. Don't you worry. Yeah, we need to get the fucking combat shoddy for... for Tycho. For certain. There we go. It's a little better. Beautiful, beautiful.
Oh, he's stimming up. Wasted those stims because I could have looted them from him. There we go. Combat shoddy right there. So we'll be giving that to Tycho. He's almost out of ammo too. Rescued the Brotherhood soldier. Did they acquire the Van Buren engine when they but yeah, I'd imagine that they got all of their stuff. Um I know somebody's uh, Adam Lacko is making had, has been making Van Buren from scratch uh, in the same style that it was being made in using its design documents, but uh, other people have been making mods that kind of co coincide with what we know about the story. Yeah, I'd love to see um, Fallout and Fallout 2 maybe ported to something like the Wasteland 3 engine. That'd be fucking dope. Um, I wouldn't... I wouldn't, you know, like, any type of remake of them would be neat to see, so, like, even if we got one that was, like, uh, Fallout 3 in New Vegas, Fallout 4 style, you know, like, that's fine, but, uh, I'd love to see it remain a top-down experience, you know? He won't let me take the fucking power armor. Uh, I for, it, like I can never understand. Like I know that you can repair some here, but I can never understand what it is that enables the power armor to be on that list of things you can get. It might be not taking this armor first. Dude, GTA 5 won't launch on my Steam. Like, Red Dead 2 launches, the Definitive Editions, like, launch for the other Grand Theft Auto. I haven't tried Grand Theft Auto 4, but uh, 5 just, like, won't launch. I tried turning off my, uh, the fuck is it called? You know, like, virus, my antivirus. Um, I tried fucking... I tried going through the Rockstar launcher. I don't, it just doesn't, I don't know. It, 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 like, I left it on for like an hour, two, two, three hours. Uh, came back to the computer and it was still like there, like waiting, you know, like uh, like waiting to launch. It did. So I reinstalled it on uh, my Series X and I might check it out in there because I've been wanting to play 5 for a while now. But it sucks that I can't play it on my PC anymore. Like, uh, I looked up fixes. Somebody said to, like, reinstall Windows and shit. And I don't feel like clearing out my computer right now. So. Luckily, Red Dead 2 still runs on it, you know, so. Fucking no harm, no foul. Red Dead 2 is tops. I probably would have reinstalled windows to make and I, you know what I, is, I know it's good to like do that every once in a while so maybe I should do it here soon where you just like uh, clean out your shit like system restore your computer I 
Yeah, factory reset. What's wrong with doing a factory reset, Dark Magician? My friend who works in IT, uh... I remember him suggesting that you do one every so often. So he's telling us about set and the watershed and... And we can go fix the pump, but we did that last time, honestly. And, uh, who cares? Let's leave him to die this time. Hey, Bandito Games. Yeah, I just got over the flu myself, and, uh... Can confirm that playing Fallout when you're sick is top tier. Though I uh, I went to GTA San Andreas. I've been playing uh, the definitive edition of San Andreas and uh, I've actually been having a pretty good time with it. I should uh, maybe stream that uh, next time. Because I've barely done like the first few missions. The only thing I've really done is uh, I did the ambulance and the fire truck missions like right off the bat. Oh, I've only recently been able to play games slightly, a maniac. Hey, um, you not look like ghoul. How come? Mm, okay, move along but, uh, then. I felt good enough to play video games like a few days ago, so. And this is the first day I've really felt good enough to stream. Oh shit, okay, I'm really glad I just remembered that I need to get the holotape from Vri with the Brotherhood. GG. Yeah, you can do that too. You could uh, emulate. I have a PlayStation 2 with all the OG. Uh, GTA's on it, but that might be a fun way to stream it. It'd be a little blurry, but uh, I have the technology to do so. I'd love to get an upscaler. But like, uh, that's how I used to stream Fallout Brotherhood of Steel from the original Xbox. Give us a little bit of outdoorsman here so we're not constantly getting fucked on the world map. The reason I'm not shooting the ones that are super close to me is because the sniper rifle is like the opposite of good that close. I'd, I'd probably end up dying or some dumb shit. So I'm trying to get distance between me and whoever I'm aiming at. Plus these guys are doing a fine job. Damn, he closed that gap, didn't he?
Yeah, 360 no scope them, yes. Yeah, CQB with the fucking sniper rifle. That's right, baby. I'd try, but the game just, you know, ain't built for it. <laughs> oh, and we have the water chip, by the way, to, uh, we pick that up from the computer up there. This is this shit? I just increased my shit. Oh, what's this? A fruit? I'll take it. Oh, what's this? In a bag. A fruit in a bag. Four caps in the bag. Who cares? What an interesting encounter. You've stumbled across some items laying in the ground. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, we're swinging by the Brotherhood real quick to uh, get a hollow tape from Vri that will prove that the mutants are sterile. thing. on the third floor, I'm pretty sure. Head scribe. Greetings. It's a fine day for learning. Can I help you? What can I help you with? Between the nuclear and biogenic weapons used in the war, it's surprising we don't have more mutations. However, if we can hold out, everything will be okay. All the mutants I've studied have been sterile. They can't breed with another creature. If we could clean up the mutation sources, we should be able to simply outlive the mutants. Here, take this holodisc. It's got copies of my autopsies on mutant corpses. It clearly shows that no mutant could possibly reproduce successfully. Okay. So, check that out. And this tells us all about how they're sterile. Can't reproduce, like she just said. So, we show that to the master, and he's like, ah, oh, fuck. So, we need that. <laughs> but yeah, game, uh, game's over, pretty much. We're fucking, uh, on the late stage now. In order to save their existence, I'm going to give these guys a Oh, I guess I can't make dog meat wait. But uh I've dismissed Tycho so that he doesn't end up dying in the fucking nonsense that's about to follow. Hopefully Dogmeat doesn't cost us anything. You love it when the master says, ah, fuck. Yeah, it's his classic catchphrase, yeah. 
Soggy, I see you've played Fallout the first as well. Fucking getting there. Oh, stop it. I'm running out of water. I'm right here with the water trip. You're fine, Vault 13. Okay, we're gonna talk to Jacker in here. Have you found the chip? Okie dokie, one moment, the chip is initializing. Here, there, 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 there it goes. Self-test is grain. Reboot is good. Ha! It's working! And it looks like we have a winner! <laughs> oh, you've... You've saved us. You've done it. You saved the vault. You should be proud. But now we need your report. We'll get it from you in the library. Please, go there now. All right. Um, let's get science up because of... Mariposa. just wanted to let you know that the water you did it. supply now, fuck is stabilized. Off. Yeah, that's uh, actually, my favorite line from the Ursa, actually. Uh, yeah. The mutant population is far exactly as long as someone Once is more into the breach, my friend. So, yeah, he sends us back out to deal with the mutants. Uh, they're multiplying at an alarming rate, he says. Uh, that's because they have a fucking factory that they're pumping them out of. just to the west of the mountains here. And we didn't kill any of these rats at the beginning, so they're all still here. The fucking dog isn't even coming over here to do it. That's what I was banking on, was the dog, uh, <laughs> taking care of the rats. Love the music. I know that we've been talking about it a lot, but it's fucking top tier. we go. Now, I did take off my Brotherhood armor. Um, it's not super necessary to do, actually, until we get to the cathedral. I think it might help us at Mariposa. I forget if it does or not. Would have helped us against that. Nonsense. Uh, 
I'm about to hit the flatlands. Yeah, there we go. Except we might actually run into mutants here. Fuck. Yep, there it is. Had I been wearing my armor, we might have survived that. <laughs> so, hey, that's the first death, though. We'll put the arm. We'll uh, put the robes back on when we actually get to the fucking place. That's in the chat. That was a floater, slightly a maniac. That's uh, what they used to look like. Uh, did dog meat die? He uh, he should still be with us uh, with this load that I just did. Hey, we're actually doing pretty good on not encountering anything there. Nice. That's even better. Yeah, it sucks that we didn't get that fucking power armor. We'd be real set. Um, I don't know if the robes help us here or not. I don't think it it matters. I know it matters. Um, at the cathedral. Oh, this is. A yes, you do have a way with words. Oh, how we shall. So we can... Oops. I wasn't trying to repair them. Dog meat's gonna kill himself walking into this force field over and over again. And that's uh, canonically how he dies, I'm pretty sure. In the Vault Dweller's memoirs. Sure, that's the right one. Let's get the fuck out of here. Ah, this is it right here. Fuck, you know what I could do? We're doing the A spam to try to uh, bypass the combat here. It's a speed run trick uh, for these games, actually. And I know that there's traps up here, and that's honestly fine. But we're hoping to. Ooh, yes, 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 yes. That's what I'm hoping for. Perfect. Because we're trying not to trigger the alarms. That's my big thing. Um, oh, there goes dog meat. Dumbass. F's in the chat for dog meat, boys.
It's one of the easiest I've gotten out of uh, Mariposa before, though. Oh, yeah. We gotta... Oh shit, I'm with the cathedral, let me by. Oh shit, that was like the easiest I've ever had it coming out of the out of uh, Mariposa. So the rubs do help, because I was able to say, I'm with the cathedral, fuck off. And uh, he did. So, thank you for the Fs in the chat, and prepare your Fs again for Mariposa military base. And we leveled up. Uh, bonus rate of fire or an additional BRD. Um, Need something different anyway because the next, the only thing we're doing now is dealing with the master. So let's, we can choose empathy. Fuck it, I'll do a... Uh... I'll do that. Okay, and then, um... I'm gonna miss speech. Okay. Oh yeah, and this is uh, the ruins now. It's all caved in and blown up. So we, we still have our robes, which is uh, something we're gonna need as we go down here. Let's go, dude! Uh, Fallout Resurrection 1.5 is so good. Uh, any other total conversion mods that I'd recommend? Um, there's a there's a few of them out there, but that's the only one I've really played for the classic games. So uh, as far as personal recommendations go, that's like the only one I can really give. But I've heard good things about Sonora, and I've good uh, heard good things about that like Olympus mod, but I have not played them myself, so I can't personally vouch for them. I'm just I've, uh, people seem to really like them. Uh, we're gonna discover the boneyard here. And then, um, go down to the cathedral. We'll have every location revealed on the side there. Okay, so now this is my favorite track. This and Cons in New California are my favorite, uh, music tracks. Also, when I was a kid, I had a crush on this, uh, Laura in here. So we'll talk to her real quick. Hello, my brother. May when I, I was be a kid, I was like, oh my god, this playmation figure day? is adorable. <laughs> um, but I only meant... I embarrassed oh. her by <clears throat> implying prostitution. Alright, see you later. I don't remember inviting anyone to my room, and yet I have a visitor. Why? What could you possibly offer me? Go on. Fine. I will take you to the master, but if you are lying, you will know. 
So what shall it be? Do you join the unity, or do you die here? Join. Die. Join. Die. I don't have to prove anything to you. Prove. I am no villain. You have no idea what I or the unity is about. The unity will bring about the master race. Master. Master! One able to survive, or even thrive, in the wasteland. As long as there are differences, we will tear ourselves apart fighting each other. We need one race. 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 One goal. 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 One people to move forward to our destiny. Destiny. Of course. Mutants are best equipped to deal with the world today. Who else? The ghouls? Please. Normals? They brought nuclear death to us all. This will be the age of mutants. Mutants. All that... Resist? Yes. And all those that are required for the... Unity? As well. The remainder will be allowed to live out their days. But under... Unity. Control. And protection. But none shall breed, for they will be the last of their race. And what is that? Preposterous! The FEV2 virus uh, doesn't destroy the, the reproductive organs of those it mutates. Do you have... Proof? I must... Digest this information. One moment. I understand now. You made a clever forgery. You made this up to fool me. Fool! Me! But it cannot be. This would mean that... All my work... ...has been for... Nothing. Everything that I've tried to... A, a failure! It can't... Be. 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 I... don't think that I can... Continue. Continue? To have done the things yeah, and that's I just, uh, that is the clay the model that you're seeing. Progress of the and healing. All of them are clay models. It was madness. Mixed with CG. I can but see that. The now. base starts as a madness. clay model. Madness. There is no hope. Leave now. Leave while you still have hope. Okay, that thing that uh, the forecaster wears in New Vegas would help us right here. If we had a psychic nullifier, we wouldn't be taking damage from the master's uh, bullshittery in this hallway. Here's Flutters and Centaurs in here. Before we, uh, I'm putting this in my inventory so I can just shoot the Overseer at the end for you guys. Typically if you have bad karma or the bloody mess perk you can, uh, you will end up shooting Jackerin. I don't know why we're not going up the stairs at the end of the game. Um, but if you spam the A button, you can uh, engage combat at the end and uh, take him out in one of the craziest death animations in the entire game. So say goodbye to the cathedral. Definitely get your, your F keys ready.
The death of the master was the first major step towards ending his mad dream of conquest and enforced peace. But we left a whole lot undone, the destruction of the and uh, <laughs> like left the Necropolis to die. So this ending is going to be the best. Without the ability to create more mutants and enforce their harsh brand of justice, the mutant armies flee to the east, beyond the no man's land. The ghouls of Necropolis learn firsthand the final meaning of dehydration as their city succumbs to the desert sands and the water runs out. Without their water purifying control chip, they do not survive. In Shady Sands, Tandy helps her father Aradesh bring a new community and new life out of the broken remains of the world. They are responsible for the new California Republic, whose ideals spread across the land. Killian Darkwater takes firm control of Junktown, drives out the last of Gizmo's kind, and then enforces his own brand of frontier justice. Life is fair and safe under his law. The Brotherhood of Steel helps the other human outposts drive the mutant armies away with minimal loss of life on both sides of the conflict. The advanced technology of the Brotherhood is also slowly make sure to like the stream California if you enjoyed it with little disruption or chaos. Uh, it helps the channel, and I appreciate the Brotherhood it a lot. Wisely remains for those out of you that of the uh, super chatted during the stream. I appreciate it big time. A major research that, uh, and development is the most direct way to support the channel. The Desert Raiders eventually can't thank you enough for that and manage to terrorize. Uh, I'll be streaming more now that I feel better. Following your adventures, I'll be uh, there'll be more streams uh, coming on here. Plus, I'm still working on videos. You know how that goes. Um, your involvement with the various so places and people of the wasteland is well documented by future historians. Only a single question remained unanswered. What happened okay. to you? We'll spam and uh, shoot Jacker in here. You've done it. That's wonderful, amazing. I'm so proud of what you've Yeah, Keith, uh, it's it what you've endured. Fucking flu had me down for about a week, though. There's no way the people of the vault can ever thank you enough for what you've done. You've saved all our lives. Who knows? Maybe even saved the human race. <sighs> yes. That makes the rest of this even harder. Everyone will want to talk to you. Every youngster will look up to you and want to emulate you. And then what? They'll want to leave. What happens to the vault if we lose the best of a generation? What if we are the only safe place in the world? You just gave us back all these lives. I can't take the chance of losing them. Yo, Vault 5 Dweller with a fat $5 super chat. Great stream and feel better. Thanks for keeping the spirit of Classic Fallout alive. Thank you. Uh, Vault Dweller for the super chat. I appreciate you big time. And Dick, uh, it's good to see you down there too. Since I took this position, but none of them harder than this one. You saved us, but you'll kill us. I'm sorry. You're a hero, and you have to leave. All right, here we go, boys. In the dick. Oh, I can't do that. Okay. <laughs> Fucking brutal. <laughs> Dirt bag. And we have a level. Which I'll put in lock picks. Nah, don't you keep playing it. So I'm good as copyright tech. Anyway, uh, thank you all very much for hanging out with me. And we can also do this with uh, Tim Kane's head. If you type in boom, we get a little Easter egg of a Tim Kane's head exploding. Anyway, thank you guys for coming out. You're fantastic. Uh, I love streaming for you guys. There'll, like I said, there'll be more. I have an all-day tattoo appointment tomorrow. And then the Royal Rumble is on Saturday. I'm a wrestling fan, so I will probably want to be watching the Royal Rumble. Uh, I hope you guys take care.
and that your weekend goes well. I will be back with another stream within, you know, like I said, next couple of days. But uh, videos are coming as well. Thank you for checking it all out. I do indeed, I hope to catch you on the next one. Uh, it has been Mantis.